Hello everybody, I've just spent a very, very long time trying to work out why, on two machines that had been recently upgraded to Windows 10, the HP OfficeJet software wasn't installing. So, well, you could install the software, so the latest one from the HP website, you'd go through all the wizard and then you'd get to uh, install the, the printer. So, uh, let me see if I can quickly demonstrate that. So, if I remove this printer... We'll, uh, I'll show you at which point it was failing. Oops, wrong button, remove device, yes please. And as with printers on Windows 10 and Windows 8 and Windows 7, I find it easier to manage it in Notepad or something that gives you actually an actual proper print dialog box rather than the device's screen. So, the stupid thing, device's screen still says there's stuff there, but if you use Notepad there's no printers, which is what I would expect. So, if I now go to HP, HP Office Jet, it should, yeah, there you go, it wants to redetect the device because I've deleted it. So this is how it ends up after you've done the upgrade to Windows 10. So, you go to connect to a new printer, wired network, it finds the printer, you go next. This is where it would spend forever. It would just sit at this screen and spend 10 minutes of that screen going nowhere and then eventually it would come up with a red X and say that it had failed to install the printer. Um, gave you no further details, no error number, no log file, uh, nothing at all. So after a lot... OK, let's just quickly go through this so the printer is actually installed again. After a lot of sitting there with process monitor, and looking at the registry keys which the um, device set up and spooler service were accessing um, and a lot of googling and, and everything I've eventually found more by luck than uh, anything what was the cause and I thought I'd document it especially how to turn on verbose logging for the HP device installation because that is just a I can't believe it's not on by default. So by default you get some... Uh, if I can find the folder, probably closed it. Somewhere you get uh, an incredible, useless uh, log file. So probably this one. No. No, it's probably gone. Literally it just says installing device and then the MAC address. And then it just says device install failed. And it gives you an error number of minus to something something, you know, basically a long number. You Google for that, there's not any information about it, it doesn't really relate to anything. Um, anyway, after using Process Monitor to look at what registry keys the uh, device setup was accessing, I noticed that it was trying to access and wasn't finding this H... Uh, wait, <coughs> pardon me, current user HP software... Oh, sorry, software HP uh, NG logging and it was looking for these in, uh, initially and then it was also looking for uh, under logging device setup.exe another set of similar registry keys so basically guessed at those turned on some kind of logging but it wasn't really logging enough so I, I got stuck there but I did then find some documentation for some un other unrelated products so ignore this bit here um, but um, the registry file for another relate unrelated product tells you to add these. So that then gave me the um, hex codes that I need to set the registry keys to, which then did enable a huge amount of information being logged, which um, we can find here. So I chucked it into the temp folder in lol.txt and lol.txt2 or lol2.txt. Um, this finally finally gave me a, a pointer to what was going wrong. So before I was thinking well, it's, you know, it's a registry permissions problem or it's a folder problem on the computer and I was blaming both the computers. Um, but actually looking at... Uh, oh yeah, sorry, just quickly going back to the registry thing. You add these registry keys, rerun the setup and then it will create these log files. Um, the pointer here was, is WDS uh, sorry, WSD printer ready, waiting for the printer to be ready. If I then looked at process monitor, and before the logging was switched on, all I saw was a uh, spooler service trying to access two printer registry keys. So it's doing it there. I get rid of this lol.txt because I don't need to see it. 
Um, it just literally does that over and over again for the entire 10 minutes or however long the HP printer software setup waits and then the HP printer software fails. If you added that registry key, it might not have been that registry key, but if you added one of the, the similar ones it was looking for at, at one point, it would immediately delete the registry key, so that was also a bit confusing. Um, anyway, managed to get these this logging enabled, and um, so yeah, going, is WSD printer ready? Um, and it comes back saying somewhere that it's not ready. So, well, basically, it just keeps looping around in this WSD printer ready, WSD printer ready. Um, can't find the bit where it's saying it's failing, but that, there we go. Printer value failed. That got me thinking that actually, okay, so is there something wrong with WSD on the computer? And went through a load of, of that, tried to add the printer using the WSD and its IP address. That didn't work. So eventually I went to the printer's IP address, I went to network, I went to advanced settings, I went to Microsoft Web Services which is WSD, unticked both of those, applied it, went back in, ticked both of those, at which time my um, installation was running in the background and still doing its little I'm waiting and waiting, and immediately that started going through, came up with the extra screens and, and completed. But I'm quite angry <laughs> that I, before this point, I had tried unplugging and plugging in the mains into the back of the HP Office Jet. Basically, I assumed that it wasn't a problem with the Office Jet, especially as other machines on the network were also installing the HP software fine. So, ticking and unticking those two boxes kind of makes me angry that, <laughs> that that was what the problem was. And it would be very nice if the HP software did just come up with a bit box saying HP installation failed, click here for more details, and then it would say is WSD printer ready? And no. Then it would give you at least a starting point. It's taken me hours to get to this stage and um, you know, I'm, I don't really like giving up and, and reinstalling the operating system, which funnily enough I don't think would have fixed this because I would have come across exactly the same problem because it seemed to be a problem with the printer. Um, but for those of you who have uh, driver installation problems with HP printers, this registry key to enable very verbose logging about what it's actually doing um, is very useful. So note that down and uh, this uh, HP documentation about what you need to set for the uh, hex values hopefully that gets you started in the right direction as to why they might not be installing. But now, I go to print. Printer is there. Success. Brilliant. Hope this helps you.